Something? I said no! No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing! Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. Yeah, well, I don't know what you overheard, but... Uh, yeah, we, we did have a bit of a, a break-in. We, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. You found it! <laughs> there it is! Strange. It, it seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. It means so much to us to have the claw back where it belongs. Thank you. It's a fine Thank day. you so much for taking care of those thieves. The Riverwood Trader is back to the way it used to be. You're a str- Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose. For a Nord village. There's beauty here unmatched in all of Skyrim. I'll show you what I know. He's a bard, so he says. Occasionally, he finds time to do his job. Still, thinks his ballads and sonnets are going to convince Camilla Valerius to marry him. As if she would say yes. An intelligent, beautiful woman like her wouldn't fall for that nonsense. I hope. I've been thinking. Maybe Camilla needs a little help seeing Sven for what he is. Could you... Could you give her this letter and say it's from Sven? I think I've matched that Nord's lack of cleverness perfectly. Mm-hmm. Feindall thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling him. <sighs> what is this? The elf playing a treachery? Shocking. As if I would write this dribble. How about we Give play a, a bit of a bit. turnabout with Feindall? Coming right up. Here. I had to use simple words, but this letter should convince Camilla it's from him. Mm-hmm. What are you talking about? What's in the letter? Oh my. He... He wanted me to think Fandal wrote this? Thank you for telling me the truth. Could you talk to Feindal as well? I'm sure he'll want to thank you for standing up for him. Until next time. Maybe you've already met Camilla Valerius. I appreciate your help. Please, take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. Oh, there once was a Hi hero there. named Ragnar the Red who came right Are you sure? Run from old oh no. They found me? And the I need your help, please. Come with me. I need to speak to you privately. Quickly, come with me. But then he went quiet, did Ragnar the Red, when he met the shield maiden Matilda, who said... Oh, you talk and you lie and you drink all our mead. Now I think it's high time that you lie down and bleed. And so then came clashing and slashing of steel as the brave lass Matilda charged in full of zeal. And the braggart named Ragnar was boastful no more when his ugly red head rolled around on the floor. So, are you working with them? 
You think you can take me? You so much as touch me and you're going to lose fingers. I mean it. I'll... I'll cut you in half. So the Alakir know where I am? What do they offer you? Gold? How many more of them are coming? Tell me. You can't tell them. Please, I need your help and there isn't anyone I can trust here in the city. I am not the person that the people of Whiterun think I am. My real name is Eamon. I am a noble of House Suda in Hammerfell. The men who are looking for me, the Alakir, they are assassins in the employ of the Almarie Dominion. They wish to exchange my blood for gold. I need you to root them out and drive them away before they find me and drag me back to Hammerfell for an execution. They're mercenaries, only in it for the money. They're led by a man named Kamatu. Get rid of him, and the rest will scatter. I don't dare show my face, lest they recognize me, so you'll have to find out where they are. I heard one of them was just arrested trying to sneak into the city. If he's locked up in the jail, perhaps you can get it out of him. Please, I know I'm asking you to do something difficult, maybe even dangerous. I just don't know who else I can trust. I don't know for sure. I spoke out against the Aldmeri Dominion publicly. I suspect that's why these men were hired to hunt me down. You think I'd be in hiding if this was something I trusted town guards to handle? These men are ruthless, cunning, deceitful. They'll pay off whoever they can. I can't trust anyone here in Whiterun. Guards and Jarls can be bought. And the Alakir are close. I'm running out of time, so I'm choosing to trust you. What are you looking at? You have a death wish, then? If you know that name, you must know to meet him would be to meet your end. But it seems we both have needs, friend. Perhaps we can help each other out. I have dishonored my brothers by being captured, and so they have left me here. My life with the Alakir is over now, but I have no wish to die in this god's forsaken land. If I can be released from prison, I may start over. See to that, and I'll tell you what you want to know. One hundred gold will secure my release. You can afford that, can't you? I suppose you'd better hope you can, if you want the information. Get the money into the hands of one of these guards, and I'll tell you what you want to know. Because I was clumsy enough to be captured. Kamatu always says, we're supposed to be the best of the best. I wasn't. All right, then. My cousin's out fighting dragon. Done. Convince him to stay out of the city while you're at it. You buy my way out of here, and I'll tell you what you want to know. Very well. Kamatu is west of Whiterun. It's an unassuming little cave called Swindler's Den. You realize if you set foot in there, you're never coming back out. They'll kill you. But that's your problem, not mine. Guard! I am one of the afflicted. I'd have been dead from this plague a year ago if not for Periite's protection. Returning to High Rock, our shepherd lost his way, and I fear Periite's wrath may consume those who remain with him. Kesh could tell you more. I just want out of Skyrim as quickly as possible. Need something? Don't do that!
Ismir, you won't leave here alive. Don't sound. your strength, boy. Let's avoid any more bloodshed. I think you and I have some things to talk about. What do you need? Yes? Stay your hand, warrior. It's no secret why you're here. And you have proven your skill in combat. Let us talk a moment. And no one else needs to die. I think we can all profit from the situation in which we find ourselves. My men will not attack you if you will lower your weapons. She sold the city out to the Aldmeri Dominion. Were it not for her betrayal, Tanith could have held its ground in the war. The other noble houses discovered her betrayal, and she fled. They want her brought back alive. The resistance against the Dominion is alive and well in Hammerfell, and they want justice. Of course. Sent by. What is it that she's calling herself these days? Shazra? Sadia? One of those, correct? Did she appeal to your sense of honor? Your greed? A more base need, perhaps? It doesn't matter. No doubt she's convinced you that she's the victim. But do you know why we pursue her? Assassins? No, nothing so crass. Sadia, as you know her, is wanted by the noble houses of Tanith for treason. We were hired to see her return to Hammerfell for her crimes. You can help us with that. And make sure no one else gets hurt. She trusts you, at least to some extent. She sent you after us, and has no reason to think that you'd do anything other than that. Convince her that we'll be coming for her, and she needs to leave. Lead her to the stables outside Whiterun. We'll be waiting to take her into custody. I'll gladly share a portion of the bounty in return for your efforts in seeing proper justice done. Good. We'll be waiting for you at the stables. It will be good to finally be able to return home. Hmm? Need something? Any news of the Alakir? What? How? I thought they weren't allowed within the city. But where will I go? I can't keep running forever. After all this, I have to pick up and leave again? If you really think this is the only way, I trust you. Let's not waste any time. It's been a pleasure. We meet at last, my dear lady. What is this? 
What have you done? Oh, come now. You didn't really expect to manipulate people forever, did you? Your luck had to run out sometime. Now we'll take our friend here back to Hammerfell, where she will pay the price for her treason. Not on the way back. Once she gets there, it's not up to me to decide what's done with her. And as for you, I owe you a portion of the reward, don't I? Well, here you go. Spend it wisely, and if I may, don't allow yourself to be fooled by a pretty face. You're better than that. All right, then. Life's hard enough with all these men propositioning me. That bard Mikhail is begging for a dagger up against his throat, the way he goes on about me. I heard him boasting at the bannered mare, saying he'll conquer me as a true Nord conquers any harsh beast. <laughs> if you want to try, go right ahead. I don't think anything will get through that thick skull of his, though. Remember, fresh fruit and vegetables oh, every day. Acted by the best blacksmith in If it's a lady you're looking for, you best look elsewhere. Once me I'm a bard by trade. Carlotta put you up to this, didn't she? I'm sorry, but that fiery widow is mine. She just doesn't know it yet. <clears throat> oh, hey there. I didn't mean to make you upset. On my honor. Don't worry about me again. Some parting advice? Women? Love Sonics. I spend a lot of time at the market right stalls food so and I can fresh learn the merchants. Really? You convinced that loot player to, to stop chasing me? Someday. I'd thank the gods, but I'll settle for thanking you. Here's some coin for your help. Thanks for the business. Choice. Well met, Traveler. What brings you to Whiterun? Truly? Huh. By shore, this city could use more like you. Best head up to Dragon's Reach, then, and see the Jarl. He's Lord of Whiterun, and can set you on the path. Aye, that I do. Half all my life. We Battleborns have been here since the beginning. Along with the Grey Mains. Our family's been close as kin for generations, but Ulfric Stormcloak's uprising has divided us. Now, seems we can scarce look at each other without coming to blows. Petty and foolish, that. They're saying dragons have returned to Skyrim. Now that there, that's a real problem. You tried mercenary work? And my sapphire doesn't like that I've been spending so much time looking for my father's old sword. He fed his entire family with the gold he made using that weapon. I'm not about to let it gather dust in some thief's trophy room. I tracked it to a group of bandits nearby. But I'm no fool. I'd need the white run guards or maybe hire the companions to get it. I don't know why I'm saying this, but if you find it out in your travels, I'd be grateful to you. No, I'm not. Looks like we've got something in common, then. No, I'm a Red Guard. My family hails from the Imperial Province. Ah, but I left home when I was just a lad. Been wandering ever since. I can teach you a few things. If you find that sword, please bring it to me. What do you need, my friend? Hey, watch it! Oh. 
never should have come here. Sometimes I miss... You found it! I've been looking for that blade for months! You took on all those bandits yourself? Thank you. Here, my father had a favorite sword and shield technique. Let me teach it to you, in honor of his memory. Right then. Good man? <laughs> what? Why are you looking at me? Only if I can help it. But damn if I ain't almost sober. Hey, in the Bannered Mare, there's this bottle of Argonian ale. The good stuff. Get it for me. They won't even know it's gone. Come on. Argonian ale. I can almost taste it. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Sure, whatever. I miss the days when the Grey Manes and Battleborns got away. There's nothing a man can do that I can't do better. Whether My favorite drinking buddy. Trolls. Let's get some mead. Well, would you look at that? Argonian ale. My thanks, friend. Here, take this here healing potion. I uh, found it in the temple. By now, done nothing. All I can think about is my son, my sorrow. They say that he was killed, but I know better. I know my son is alive. Those battle born, they're in with the Imperials. They know it too, and yet they lie to my very face. It's not wise to discuss it here. Please, if you truly wish to help, meet me at my home. I'll tell you the whole story. Welcome to our home. Mother, what's the meaning of this? Who have you brought into our home? Averstein, put that down! He's here to help us find Thorold. How do we know he's not spying for the Battleborn? So, you're here to help? I know that Thorold's not dead. I just know it. The Imperials have him and are keeping him somewhere. But I don't know where. 
Those damned Battleborns. They know something. They're hiding it. They practically taunt us with it. They must have some sort of proof. There's gotta be something in that house of theirs. I just know it. I don't dare leave the house myself, so I need your help. Anything that confirms that Thorald isn't dead, but is being held captive. I know those Battleborns have it. They'd be hiding it, of course. Wouldn't want it to get out that they've been lying this whole time. But you might be able to butter them up enough to lower their guard. The Battleborns. The Emperor's biggest bootlickers here in Whiterun. Their connections to the Empire and the Legion are well known. When Thorald didn't return home, there was no question in my mind. They knew Thorald supported the Stormcloaks, knew he was gonna aid them in battle, made sure he didn't come back. Locked him up someplace to get back at my family. I'm sure of it. Do you have news? I knew it. Let me see, please. The Thalmor. By the Nine, it's worse than I thought. So, North Watch Keep. Then we know where to hit him. I'll do anything if it means saving my brother. You'll join us, won't you? Thorald can't be left to those... monsters. I'll round up what men I can and meet you outside North Watch Keep. We'll get in and out as fast as possible. I'll see you there. We're getting Thorald back, no matter what. We kill every Thalmor between us and Thorald, and we bring him out alive. Let's go. scared him off.
<sighs> you there. I never thought I'd see another friendly face again. We need to get to safety as soon as possible. Let's move. Thorald! Thorald! Brother, is... is that you? I'm here. I knew I'd find you. What in the world? There's no time. We gotta get you out of here. Come on, let's go! I cannot thank you enough for rescuing me from this place. I suspect I'd never again see the light of day otherwise. But why would you risk your life for me, a stranger? Of course, I should have known. Avelstein was behind this, wasn't he? I cannot stay. Not here. Not in Whiterun. It likely won't be safe for Avelstein either. Our best hope now is to fall in with the ranks of the Stormcloaks. But would you do me a favor? Tell my mother to suffer the winter's cold wind, for it bears aloft next summer's seeds. She'll know what it means. I thank you again, friend. You've given me my life back. Please tell me you have news of my son. Is he? You've saved him? Oh, I must see him at once. What? After all this, I can't even see him? How? How do I know you're telling me the truth, and not just what I want to hear? For it bears aloft next summer's seeds. That's my boy. So it's true then. For now it's enough to know that he's alive. I can find peace in that. Thank you, dear friend. You've given me back my son. I'd head Jorland forge this for Thorald. It was to be a present for his return. I suppose he can't have it now. Why don't you take it? We can always make another for the day when this war ends and Thorald can come home.